hello to all students so today is uh, the orientation session and in today's orientation session we are going to discuss how will we proceed for this acca afm course for march 2023 attempt also uh i will take on your questions and answers and let you know whatever your queries are and we will proceed with the session and uh, we will probably start now okay so welcome to the session everyone uh first thing is that i have to introduce you all to myself and yes uh, there are two numbers on the screen so i want all of you to note down these numbers please everyone note down these two numbers in case after the session you are interested to enroll for the full course you can contact adil and i have mentioned adil's number as well also you all like anyone who is present right now please do whatsapp me or whenever you watch the recording of the session please do whatsapp me with your complete name you can do it right now as well if you guys are watching the screen save my number and please do whatsapp me so that i can save your number and add you to the public whatsapp group we have a public whatsapp group where uh, those students who are still making some decision about whether they must go for afm or not are added and also uh, <clears throat> i share some limited free content over the group so anyone who watches the recording of the session or anyone who is actually watching the session right now who is live please do whatsapp me right now so that i am able to number one save your number and also after the session i will be available to assist you with your queries i will be able to guide you i will be able to help you out with regards to any individual concerns or queries that you may have okay so i hope that everyone has saved the number correct once you have saved the number please do let me know so that i will scroll down and we will proceed with the discussion i am going slow initially to make sure that maximum students join us with the time that we have okay so please do save my number and we will start with the session uh, with more details about the session in a couple of minutes okay so do make sure that you all have saved my number do make sure that my number is with you and also do make sure that adil's number is with you because adil is the person who is going to deal uh matters relevant to admission and all okay moving on um let me introduce myself i have a teaching experience of 12 plus years acc member professional accounting affiliate member of pakistan institute of public finance accountants uh, was declared pakistan top acca affiliate by acca work experience of working at ey for 4 years national position holder for apm governance risk and ethics corporate reporting which are sbr and sbl sbr and sbl now had f2 certificate of achievement uh, f3 certificate of achievement which are your fundamental papers 
and also had a merit certificate or a national position in quantitative methods paper exam paper which is a ca qualification paper so this is my brief introduction and uh, most of you might be concerned about the past feedback okay this is an orientation session i will go through the um, past ratios of amfm why you must join afm how my past batches have been and what are the contents of the syllabus and how we will proceed with the session so i am sharing just a few feedbacks uh, obviously december 2022 results are not out yet these are the most recent result feedback so that you get an idea about the students who have uh, studied from me in September 2022 session. Okay, there are just four feedbacks on the screen. Then uh, some feedbacks from June 2022. Many of you who wish to read in detail can pause the video if you are watching it on YouTube and uh, read the feedbacks in detail as well. So these are my students. These are some past results of AFM of uh, last two or three batches. I will share the recent results. Obviously, I am being associated with WIFI for a quite long time by now, but these are some recent results. Okay, then uh, June 2022 results. Uh, you can see the passing scores uh, in the center line, 76, 65, 64, 63, 63, 60. So there were many pass outs in AFM in that specific attempt. And in comparison to the global passing ratio for March 2022, I, I said I will share the last two, three attempts. So for March 2022, my passing ratio was 56%, which is uh, in comparison to global pass rates, uh, much better, better by 13%. Okay, global pass rates were 13%. So this all was to give you an idea about how the past performance of my students have been and how well they have done. Moving on, uh, we will now discuss specifically the passing ratios of the global passing ratios of AFM. Okay, global passing ratios of AFM. Now, how many of you are already done with SBL and how many of you have recently completed F9? I repeat, how many of you have uh, very, very recently completed SBL or F9? Any one of the papers, SBL or F9, or even you can introduce yourself if you are someone who got exempt? Okay, I just did F9, but not SBL. I completed SBL in March 2022. Okay, I need more responses. Uh, thank you for uh, the couple of responses that I have received. So, if you talk about AFM specifically, these passing ratios are from ACCA website. Okay, one thing that matters is your qualification. You must make sure that you are qualified as early as possible. I believe majority of you are those who are going to office, who are going to work. I believe majority of you are working individuals who have a very limited time. And since they have very limited time, what happens is that they barter between their qualification, their, their job and their work responsibilities. Qualification is something which gives you promotion, okay? Working in an organization without a qualification will be not good at all. You have to make sure that you qualify as early as possible. Now, if we consider one aspect, you have to give two of these four papers, correct? You have to give two of these four papers. Now, to obtain qualification, one thing 
that matters one thing that one must do is that pick the paper with the highest passing ratio to make sure that the chances of passing the exam are more now if you check september 2022 attempt afm passing ratio was 42 atx passing ratio was 43 so just a 1% difference between these two and AFM passing ratio was on the higher side, correct? We can say that the highest 43 is just more or less same than 42. Okay, ATX suggests that out of 100 candidates, 43 passed. AFM suggests out of 100, 42 passed. So it is more or less same. If you talk about June 2022 attempt, again, AFM stands at 41%. ATX stands at 42%. So again, what is happening is that AFM passing ratio is really high. The second higher paper or the paper which is in line with AFM is ATX. Then if you talk about March 2022, again, AFM is at 43%. AFM is again at 43%, which is again higher than ATX, AAA, APM, all other papers. If you talk about December 2021, again, AFM 41%. Okay, the difference is not just few percentages. 43 and 38, difference of 5, 41 and 37, difference of 4%. September 21, again, AFM 38%. Then again, June 2021, the passing ratio of AFM is 39, which is just 2% less than. Uh, this ATX. Yes, Fahad, I will discuss all the uh, concerns, queries, everything in the session. Just wait for a few minutes for the question and answer session. And then in March 2021, AFM ratio was again the second best. So if you compare, if you compare the last few attempts, AFM passing ratio is either best or second best, okay? So AFM passing ratio has been highest amongst the four optional papers, okay? This suggests that if you are someone who is really hungry to qualify, someone who is working in an office, in an organization for a quite long time, but unable to, uh, you can say, be promoted because of qualification, this is one paper you must select, either ATX or AFM. Yes, ATX has a good passing ratio as well, but majority of the time, based on passing ratio, AFM has the highest passing ratio. Do note this, okay? And the results are in front of you. So this is one, a uh, plus factor, one edge that AFM students have, that the paper, although it looks really difficult, but the passing ratio is the highest of all the optional papers most of the time. Okay, now is AFM the right choice from the optional subjects? How do you make a decision about optional subject? Now, tell me how many of you are still going to decide about the optional subject or can someone tell me what are their preferences? Will they be going for AFM and ATX, AFM and AAA, APM, AFM, anything? Have you ever brainstormed about this? Or are you someone who is already done with one of the papers? Please participate. Okay. Karen completed ATX. Mava AFM, AAA, AFM, AAA, yes. Most of students go for AFM and AAA. I have seen this in past. They find AFM and AAA uh, easier. The reason is that they have very recently studied AFM or they are working in an audit firm or they have a similar reason or maybe they did like the AA paper as well. So the first factor to consider in decision of optional subjects is your career relevance, okay? Whether the paper will be relevant for your career. Now, if anyone 
wants to work in mutual funds and in insurance companies in banks in risk advisory services even if someone is part of an audit firm and is linked with the risk risk advisory services transaction advisory services or similar role or they think that in the long term they want to work for a bank for a financial institution afm is the paper that you must opt for the second thing about the paper is the pass rate okay we just discussed that the pass rate for afm has been best majority of the times and if not best then second best third thing do you like financial management okay how many of you did f9 or a fm recently how many of you uh, did like that subject did you like f9 the financial management subject i believe f9 or financial management is one of the subject that teaches you something i believe that it is really amazing paper afm follows the same pattern i as a student my favorite papers were fm and afm to be honest because in afm and fm you have to use your brain 200% and you have to validate the decisions okay it was good only the yes uh, the derivative the financial instruments are a complex part but i believe overall overall majority students like that paper because you are a decision maker you are involved in a decision making role and this means that uh, you your input matters and therefore majority of the students do like this paper then as i said are you into investment banking treasury risk management department if you are someone who is working in investment banking treasury department risk management department or any similar department this is the correct paper for you want to de develop decision making ability we have npv irr and other uh, tools being used at fm and then advanced tool at afm so if you are someone who loved decision making or if you are someone who enjoyed f9 financial management paper this is the paper for you to be honest okay and i personally feel that this paper is something that will teach you more than bookish knowledge okay you will have to apply the knowledge in a lot of case studies okay the acc exam paper consists of three questions the first question is a 50 marks long case study question followed by two other questions of 25 marks each then after that let's move further away uh, uh, further on the paper pattern okay you all must be aware that there are two sections section a and section b if we talk about section a it is a 50 marks question and if you talk about 50 marks 10 marks are for professional skills this is a newly introduced uh, area previously we had professional marks in sbl paper only but now we have marks in sbl as well as in afm and many other papers as well okay so section a will have a 50 marks one single 50 marks question section a will have one single 50 marks question and out of 50 marks 10 will be for your professional skills and 40 will be for your technical knowledge okay application of what you have studied likewise if we talk about section b okay what will be in professional marks will be discussed later in the sessions section b will have two questions of 25 marks each and again each question will consist of 20 technical and five professional marks okay it is mentioned over here so do note that there is an introduction of professional marks how many of you were not aware of this i see some emojis from marwa you were not aware about the professional marks and what about others i hope that majority of you know that the pattern has changed okay the pattern has changed 
and the paper is more easy now because professional marks is a piece of cake provided you know what you have to do. So section A, 50 marks, 40 technical and 10 professional. Section B, again, 40 technical and 10 professional marks distributed into two questions. This is how your paper structure is going to be. Now the content, if you talk about content, uh, the syllabus is broken up into different, uh, you can say sections. The first section is a very general one, which tells you what the roles of the financial executive are. They are generally investment decision, financing decision, and dividend decision. Then you have a portion about advanced investment appraisal. You must have studied investment appraisal, net present value, internal rate of return in your F9. We do have those methods and some advanced method over here as well. For example, MIRR, modified internal rate of return. Do note that anything that was included in your F9 is included on your Wi-Fi portal for your revision from F9 course so that any student who studied F9 long time back can easily revise or uh, any student who have got exemption from F9 can watch those concepts as well. Then we have a really important area, which is acquisition and mergers and corporate reconstruction and reorganization. It is about sale and purchase of a company. What we do at the time of selling a company, at the time of buying a company, how we value the company and so on. Okay. And this treasury and advanced risk management is one tricky, difficult area. And you all must be familiar. With this area, it has two things. First is foreign currency hedging, foreign currency hedging. And the second thing is interest rate hedging. Okay. How many of you do remember basic foreign currency hedging from your previous studies? Foreign currency hedging. Okay. So this over here, we can say that Part E will have one compulsory question from foreign currency hedging and interest rate hedging area. Okay. Yes, this is a tough area of the syllabus. Then you have professional skills marks. 20 marks from here and employability and technology skills, you know that your paper is going to be a computer-based exam. So some shortcuts and techniques that you have to apply. So these are the contents and to be very honest, content-wise, content-wise, this paper is very less. I mean that if during the course of studies, you will spend 100 hours, you will spend around 30 hours for content only. In 30 hours, you can easily cover all the concepts. Okay, in 30 hours out of 100, for example, if someone studies for 100 hours, in 30 hours, he will be easily able to cover all the concepts on the portal. Concepts are kept really brief and you need 70 hours for practice. You need 70 hours for practice you have to cover 70 past paper questions. You have to cover 70 past paper questions, approximate investment of one hour each for each question. Okay, so if you invest 70 hours for the past paper questions, I am really sure that you are going to pass. Now, why so much past paper practice? Listen carefully. AFM is a paper, in which content is very less. Okay. For example, if I talk about net present value, I can give you brief concepts about net present value very in, in within one hour. But when it comes to case studies, when it comes to past papers, 
पास पेपर्स आर रियली चैलेंजिंग ओके पास पेपर गिव यू रियल चैलेंज चैलेंज इज नॉट कॉन्सेप्ट मेजोरिटी ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट आर रियली सिंपल वेन यू डू दी वीडियो लेसन यू ग्रैब यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट इजीली बट वेन इट कम्स टू पास पेपर ईच पास पेपर इज डिफरेंट ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल if you talk about like mergers and acquisitions area and this corporate reconstruction area there are million possible scenarios there are million possible scenarios that can be made because practically when you go to acquire a company there can be million cases million scenarios so there is a wide wide and a vast variety for the examiner to test you for this purpose your main aim your main focus your main target must be that you spend less time on coverage of concepts just take an idea watch my video lesson from the portal and note down the key points and then once all the concepts are completed not a single chapter because your questions will comprise of testing numerous concepts together so what you do is that once you have uh, uh, completed all the concepts you go for the past paper so that you can do the past papers well just if you just listen to me carefully if you just do concepts of one chapter and go to the past paper you will not be able to do that because past papers cover multiple concepts together okay so this is what our approach is going to be less time on concepts and more time on past papers the more past papers you do the more questions you practice the more practice you have the more chances that you are going to pass the exam easily then when we talk about professional marks we will discuss this separately and i will be sharing some content with all of you on the portal as well the professional marks are awarded for communication analysis and evaluation skepticism and commercial acumen all of these are discussed in real great detail when we go to the course when we go to the e notes that i have provided okay some important observations this these are some past paper comments and one important comment that i have to highlight is that if you read it says candidates spend too long on question number 1 in meeting that they are reached the maximum mark allocation well before the end of their answer this meant they used time that should have been spent answering the remaining requirements markers can only allocate more marks to a requirement than is available even if the comments may otherwise be worthy of marks so in short stick to your allocated time and time is spent considering a quick answer plan may help you to keep your answer on track in the second comment the the examiner also highlighted that you have 1.8 minutes for each marks why because you have 100 marks and you have 180 minutes so if you have 180 minutes and you have 100 marks you have 1.8 minute per mark so you have to utilize your time very well two things to pass this paper is number one time management number two past paper practice ppp past paper practice okay time management past paper practice if you do these two things if you manage your time properly time management and if you do a lot of past paper practice i am sure that you are going to pass the exam paper past paper practice is very 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 critical your concepts will be covered within a very short span of time but the students miss out on practicing the past papers this is essential and also the time management as highlighted by the examiner in examiner comments okay moving on how do we teach at wifi uh, we have pre recorded content when you get access to the portal you get access to a pre recorded content and the content is uh, available on the portal 
and we also issue a planner document okay there is a planner there is a planner document that is to be followed you follow the planner and you complete things as per the planner as per set out in the planner when you complete things as per the planner your concepts cover up karen just give me a couple of minutes i will have a long question and answer session to entertain everyone okay we have pre recorded content we issue a planner you follow the planner the planner mentions the deadline for completion of each work then uh, at the end of every week there is a live session okay we have live sessions now as far as live sessions are concerned we have weekly live class and we recently had a poll on the enrolled students group majority of the students wanted the weekly live class to be on weekends so initially the day was wednesday but now i will reschedule it to either friday saturday or most likely most likely sunday okay most likely sunday because sunday is the day that majority students are studying or majority of them are available as they don't have their office it can be friday or saturday but 99% chances are that it is going to be on sunday so we will have weekly live sessions and as far as duration of the session is concerned what we do in weekly live sessions is that number 1 we have query solving number 2 we solve one past paper question live okay we do these two things query solving and we solve a past paper question now there will be around 5 to 7 weekly live sessions after that we in the last month in the last month we have a 5 to 6 hours class which is known as grand revision okay and we had this as well last time i started um, at around 3 pm on a sunday and ended at around maybe 9 or 10 pm at night so in this grand revision the 5 to 6 hours booster this is generally conducted one week before the exam i revise all the concepts or i do those concepts that majority of the enrolled students suggest me to cover or i do those past papers that majority suggest then we have we also have three days game changer okay we have a game changer series it is a three day series of 3 hours each which covers around 9 hours so you can say 5 Plus nine, five plus nine is around fourteen or fifteen hours over here. Then, if you talk about five to six live sessions of let's say one point five or two hours, so there will be around ten, twelve hours in weekly live sessions. Sometimes the session moves beyond one hour or beyond two hours as well. So at least, at least, at least you will have 27 hours, at the least 27 hours of live classes. This is least, okay? It can exceed, but generally at least 27 hours of live classes or you can round it off at 30. And the rest is on portal, okay? And also I keep recording more content on the request of students as well. This time I have started one more concept in which I ask students or the enrolled uh, group if they want me to record any specific concept again or in a different way for example the video on the portal is not understandable by someone or they want different example so i try to record more videos as well then we have assignments okay your assignments are conducted they will be starting from 20 Eighth December. There are five assignments. There are five assignments of different topics 
throughout the course and they will be marked by our teacher assistant and for this session our teacher assistant is Rukaya. She will be marking the assignments, providing you relevant feedback and letting you know where you can improve. Then we also have a mock exam. Okay, a three hours mock exam is conducted. This mock exam is marked by me, myself, marked by me. And yes, we also have a mock debrief. We also have a mock debrief session in which again, it is a three hours live session. So we have one more three hours live session as well, known as mock debrief in which we discuss the mock exam that I have conducted. And I also give you detailed feedback report, which helps you to evaluate where you were going wrong. Last time when I checked the mock feedback, I found out that many students were not following the proper format. They were not using the Excel formulas that they are supposed to do. They were not aware of NTV, IRR, MIRR formula. So I had to correct them so that they are able to gain maximum professional marks and do well. Okay. Then we talked about game changer series and grand revision that I also already mentioned. Moving on. Mock debrief, WhatsApp support. Okay, for WhatsApp support, as far as WhatsApp support is concerned, we will have Mr. Anish, we will have me, myself, we will have Rukaya, we will have Saadullah, we will have Aves Manzoor. So, Technically, there will be not one, not two, not three, not four, but five people present to resolve your queries. Also, the role of Saadullah is to conduct session every Saturday and Sunday, 11 to 2. Every Saturday and Sunday, uh, sorry, Aves Manzoor. Every Saturday, Sunday, Aves Manzoor is present live. And he resolves queries on a spot. Why Saturday and Sunday? Saturday, Sunday, because majority of the students are available on Saturdays and Sundays. So every Saturday and Sunday, he is available live and he resolves your uh, queries. Okay. We have Anish. I will be available myself. We have Rukaya. We have Saadullah. These are other teacher assistants that will be available on course. So technically, it is a team of five to entertain you, okay, on the WhatsApp group so that your queries get resolved, okay. These all are assistant to instructors. Then we have e-notes, Excel sheets for tricky areas. We have, I've prepared voice notes and we have one more thing which is known as secret sauce. What is secret sauce? Secret sauce is a document that I issued 10 days before exam. And the secret sauce contains some important question and answers that students do and benefit from. Okay. So technically here I have explained how we proceed with the session when we teach. And now finally it is time that you all ask your questions to me. Also, everyone, please uh, do note down these two numbers and the website and the email address. Adil is going to be present if any of you wants to enroll for the course. Adil is the person. Also, do WhatsApp me with your complete name right now so that I can add you to the public WhatsApp group where I share limited content with you. All right. Now I am available for your queries. Now I'm available to respond to any questions that you have. And yes, even after the session, if you have any questions, you can obviously ask to me. 
Okay, so we have sir, where will we get 70 PP from? Uh, Marwa, they all are uploaded on the portal. And I will provide a document of the questions that you have to do on your uh, WhatsApp group. And I will also provide documents on the enrolled students WhatsApp group as well. Apart from that, they are also available on the portal. They are already uploaded, which you can uh, download. You can view on the portal and do the workings. Okay. All right. So now this is the time for your question and answers. Please ask me any questions that you have. On the other hand, France has scored two goals. Those who love football might be watching the football match as well. And it is getting really interesting. Okay. Sir, in the live class, it's only kit solving. Yes, I solve past paper questions. The kit questions, kit and past paper, same, Karen. And also, I discuss your queries. Some of you might have some queries to discuss in live sessions. Okay. I have done chapter number one of the book. And when I go to the study, the material is too much different that I have to feel. And not on every, what is your advice? Okay. Uh, Peter, as suggested, uh, don't read a study text. Study text uh, follows a different, for you can say, a different format or a different uh, pattern. Okay. The index there is very different from the index that I have used on the portal. My suggestion is that you stick with the portal and complete the lessons first. Reading of a study text is not necessary. You have my summary, 67 pages, handouts and notes. Doing of past papers is very important. So even if you skip the study text for the time, it is absolutely perfect. Sir, in the life classes only, okay, sir, Excel tips. Okay, Excel tips, yes, Fahad, I will, when we are uh, going in live sessions, when we start live sessions next week, I will be discussing the Excel tips. I will be sharing NPV, IRR, MIRR formula that you have to follow in the exams. Also on the portal, last grand revision is available. I will align them with your course. So that in that live session, I also discuss some Excel tips. So everything will be guided with the passage of time. Okay. Sir, we complete the recordings first before doing any question. Yes. First, complete all the lectures on the portal. Follow the planner. And after that, you do the questions. For example, if you check the, if you check the portal, there are a lot of lectures before the first past paper question. So there is a reason for that. So this is going to be my second attempt. The previous seminar was a self-study. What I expected, I could have scored well. Uh, Fari, uh, please WhatsApp me. I want to know more details about the reasons of your failure. Okay. So that I can give you better guidance. Okay. Karen says, and are the recording sessions for Yes, we have F9 relevant content on the portal already. And also in this session, as I said, that if some student says that, sir, please record XYZ lecture uh, from F9 or AFM extra, or sir, please record one more example of XYZ thing because I cannot understand the concept clearly, I will be recording more lectures this time as well. Okay. Uh, uh, Mercy, the enrollments have started. Uh, students have started joining the group. They have started uh, watching the recorded content. But the first live session, because we have to wait for the enrollments, first live session will be after around 10 days from today. Okay. So you will get the planner. The first live session is going to be after 28 December. Okay. Today is 18th. So the first live class will be 10 days after today because many students are still enrolling for the course and I have to give, give them a room, a space to cover the pre-recorded content as per the planner before we proceed for the 
फर्स्ट लाइव क्लास फर्स्ट लाइव सेशन ओके प्लीज यदि प्लानर प्लानर इज गोइंग टू बी शेयर ऑन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप प्लीज डू बी एक्टिव इन द ग्रुप ओके we have one for indoor to students where will be videos and study mein upload in the portal they are already uploaded they are already available they are already unlocked uh, around 15 20 hours course is already unlocked and available on the portal more is going to be uploaded with the passage of time and also the live classes as i said will be we will have first live uh, session after 28 december so everything is aligned everything is on portal you just have to enroll and as soon as you enroll you get the access and you join the classes okay marwa says is it okay if i join by tomorrow yes it is absolutely fine even tomorrow or day after tomorrow or wednesday is okay it is very normal that students start enrollment after the orientation correct so tomorrow is monday you all can take 2 3 4 days probably to decide once you have made your mind you can enroll by monday tuesday or wednesday then you cover all the pending or the lectures that are unlocked already so that everyone is on same frequency and we will proceed with the live sessions after 28 december so that everyone has completed specific material as i will guide in your registered students whatsapp group okay then we have how will i get the recorded sessions uh, we have we issue a user id and password it is available on wifi.com wifi.com is our website when you go to wifi.com you log in with your credentials you have a user id and a password you put in user id and password you get access to the complete course and you enjoy the recordings okay so in 10 days we have to complete all recordings uh yes okay let me mute someone has on okay so yes in the next days uh you will cover maximum recordings from the portal will the e notes be accessible from day one yes karen e notes past papers technical articles everything will be available from day one and i am active in the group the first live lesson is going to be after 28th december but this does not mean that students are not studying they are studying and i will be active in the group i will be giving some files i will be responding to your queries and so on so forth okay still i am available any question please do let me know i am online feel free to ask me anything get all your concerns addressed so that you are satisfied that the decision you are making today is right decision okay and yes do please whatsapp me with your complete name so that i can at least add you to the public whatsapp afm group where a limited amount of content is shared obviously that is very 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 less than what the registered students get and if you wish to enroll you can whatsapp adil or you can whatsapp me if adil is not responding okay so any questions anyone i am still available and i will be happy to answer any question that you have okay so i believe that i have responded to everyone uh, those who are thinking to enroll please do that within next 2 to 3 days so that we have all the students with us and now i will thank each one of you okay we have i am in one of group name accfm uh okay uh, you can whatsapp me uh, but you are in a public group that is not a group for registered students or the paid students okay so if you have paid uh, you share you you tell me you uh, message me you whatsapp me and i will add you into the registered students group okay okay
so if you want to enroll do let me know okay thank you ana evelyn fari i will wait for your message you have to let me know details of your last attempt fahad thank you guru raj thank you so much imran zulfikar i believe you okay we have one more question i need to know when we should submit our next assignment assignments are going to start from 28 december as well and 28 december you can say is the real starting date for assignments uh, for live sessions and for everything okay apart from that obviously for your assistance i am already and always present on the afm whatsapp group someone asked me about this ngv formula and how to work out mir in excel so i also shared that content you must have seen in the group okay imran sulfikar uh, you probably joined really late so if you have missed anything please do watch it in the recording the recording will be uploaded tomorrow on youtube karen uh, you haven't asked any question i hope that you are doing well kobura to i hope that i am pronouncing it correctly if you wish to enroll do let me know i will add you in the, into the paid students group right now you are part of a public group l tweet thank you for uh, joining okay thank you for joining the session oh yes karen you did ask okay marwa thank you for joining the session and uh, i hope that i will see you in the enrolled students class okay we have a lot of more participants let me say mercy do you have any question mercy any question okay mohammad uh, thank you for being part of the session uh, peter you are probably one of the already enrolled students right and venisa i probably did not see any question from your side but thank you for attending the session i hope that you are doing well and i hope that if you have any question you will ask me anyone with any sort of question please do let me know so that i can address you okay we have one more question just one more question if i don't know and don't clear will my access be removed after the exam okay there is a rule at vc about extension of course okay uh if you wish to extend your access you can talk to management uh, they will obviously charge some extension fees i guess it is 50% of the original paid amount but you can confirm from management and uh, by paying that fee you get your extension okay but we have to stay positive karen i hope that you don't have to do that and i really 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 believe that you will clear in the first attempt it is not going to be second attempt at any case you will pass don't worry yes you need to ask about it to adil adil will guide you and also please do whatsapp me so that i have added you in the relevant uh, group as well okay thank you okay so thank you everyone i hope that uh, you all did uh, enjoy the session please uh, even after the session if you have any concerns or queries you can whatsapp me and also whatsapp me so that i can enter you i can add you to the relevant group thank you i will be signing off now stay blessed everyone thank you so much for attending the session